Hey everybody, welcome back. Check it out. Here we've got the Caldwell, we call it a Ballistic Precision Chronograph, Chronograph Premium Kit. Now this comes with the tripod, it comes with these light panels, um, it comes with a battery pack for these. Uh, it's got a cable so you can plug it into your phone. I don't know if this will work on an iPhone, I'll have to look at that yet. Because um, you can do a bunch of cool things. Um, it's got a wall plug in. You've got a splitter. Um, supposedly it'll work with bows, air guns, everything you see here. Uh, it's got an LCD screen on it here if you don't use the extension cord deal. Flip this over for you. Here it shows kind of some of the stuff. Um, the app, I mean it's got weather and ambient pressure, feet per second, kinetic energy, logs a whole bunch of stuff. It's actually pretty trick. Um, this was on Amazon. It was $123. Um, I'll maybe put a link to it down below in the description underneath the video. Uh, but anyways, I'll do a, a nice little unboxing here, show you guys what's in there, and then if the weather lets up, because it's raining again here in Washington, we'll take it out back and throw some bullets through it and see what it will read. So, yeah, let's do this right here. Let's open her up and we'll show you what's inside the box. It also comes with a carrying case, which is really cool. If I didn't mention that yet. So I'm pretty stoked about this. Here you got an all-in-one. That's the only thing in the box is this. That's awesome. I love that. Everything stays together. I've been borrowing a chronograph for years. Um, you gotta take it, you gotta take a tripod, you got a bunch of separate crap to take here, there, and everywhere. Pretty cool. Now, that thing's actually quite large. Let's see here. Let's just get this tripod out of the way first. If I can. Just your average camera tripod. It's got a bubble level on it. You can adjust the feet. Three levels and you can crank it up here. Adjustable. Lockable. Great. Okay. Get the big dog itself here. You can see the screen. Here's the eyes that will see the bullet coming through. We've got a couple plug-ins here. I believe it takes a 9 volt, which is not included. Man, that baby's on there tough. There we go. Okay, yeah, we'll need a 9 volt. Let's see if I can scrounge one up. <coughs> Here's where, you're, where you will screw it onto your tripod. And on this deal here, you have an option. Here is the cord. Plugs into it and your phone. For that remote readout stuff. These are the light panels. So you got little LED strips in there. Here's the bars that go in. So you know where to shoot through. Down here in the final pouch, we have the wall plug-in. I have a European adapter. This is the battery pack for the light panels, which you're going to need four double A's for that. And that will just plug in somehow. And then you have this splitter and that. So that's all that's in the package here the bag I should say. So these babies, man they stick in there really well. So obviously if you're not going to use the light panels, which I'm going to try to do without initially. There we go. That one's a little tough. So just like your average chronograph, you'll do this, yada yada, you'll know where you got to shoot through, but if you're going to use the light panels, somehow they will plug into here. Let's see if I can get this here. There we go. So what I'm doing initially is it's got these little slots. I'm just sticking them in that slot. 
which seems easy. This one I'll try to do it into the other one. Probably a little more secure than how it should be. Yeah, let's do that instead. We'll plug it that one in. Okay, the camera cut off on me at some point in the game here. Let me let me zoom out so we can get the whole beast in there. You can see I've got the whole setup on there. Then if you obviously if you're going to use these lights, you're going to want to plug those babies in here and here, and then this will go to your battery pack like so, or it'll go to your wall plug-in. Get your on-off switch here. I don't have any batteries, so. Okay, we'll take those off and move on to the next thing. Here's the instructions. Here you can see it all set up on the stand. Um, we'll set it up tomorrow when the rain quits. Um, this is what you get with just the chronograph itself, the lesser expensive one. This is the premium kit, comes with the tripod, the lighted tops, all that jazz. So just to kind of show you the difference on those, but that's what it'll look like all set up tomorrow, minus um, I'm not going to plug in the lights. I'm not going to probably need that outside. It's kind of a little rundown on what's all in the manual. Your batteries, blah, blah, blah. Goes up to 9,000 feet per second, supposedly. Here's some of the errors and stuff it'll show you on the display. It says to put it 10 to 15 feet from the muzzle. So you can go, it's feet per second or meters per second. So this bigger one other white plug is only for the factory use. You'll use the little jack. Here you can see a bunch of the things. You got instant readout, note log, temperature, all them other things. You can save it. it says iOS devices, so it must work for there. Here's how to aim through there so you don't shoot the unit. I usually sight down the barrel, not just through the scope. Bunch of tips, yada yada. Anyways, when we come back, we'll get her out in the field and we'll see how it works. So, like, comment, subscribe. Okay, I just plugged in the LED bars just to make sure that they'll work. I don't know if I'll ever use them, um, but you don't see much here, but they're on. So, we got the on off button. You can see the difference in light. Um, I got it just plugged into the extension cord here, but flip her down so you can see. No, doesn't do much, but it does something. So, yeah, there you go. Took a little picture there, hope that worked. Anyways, come back, we'll be out in the field. Okay, here we've got it set up. Got some batteries in it, and you can see I have nothing hooked to the panels on the top. I'm just gonna shoot a couple into the dirt here just to kind of demonstrate how it works. Um, so I got my nine volt in here. We'll put it to feet per second. Here's the startup procedure. Kind of goes through its own little sequence here. Does that, and that means it's ready. So we're good to go. So let me grab my gun and make sure we're lined up, and then we'll do a couple test shots and see if it reads anything. Feet per second. Got a second. Don't touch, please, Will. Okay, it's warmed up and ready. We'll fire one through there and see what happens. Get and it read it. 467. These are just CB22s. You see the little shooting iron here? We'll do one more. See how close it is. 473, working great. All right, good, let's move on to something a little faster. Okay, so those CB longs, here's the package for those, it says 710, so we're way lower than the feet per second there. Um, I don't have a second chronograph to compare it to, so who knows, maybe it's just that gun. But, so here's what we're gonna do next. These are claiming 1,070. So, let's do two of those and see what we get. Keep in mind this is through a pretty short barrel 
22 cricket, so we'll see. Hey, that's right in the belt park, 1044. We'll do one more of those and see how we go. All right, here's shot number two. 1032, perfect, it's working great, right on the money. All right, guys, I hope you like that. I will be back another time with um, kind of how the app works, if I can get it to work with my phone. I didn't have the adapter with me for mine for right now because uh, you got to plug it into the microphone jack and my iPhone 10 doesn't have one. So we'll come back with that in another video. So like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for stopping by.